previously. Deskbot 3! Wait a minute, that's gotta be illegal! This is my deck! On Progression Series Season 2. The only thing this loses to is Dark Hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy like that, and uh, I don't think you have a way to beat it, so go ahead. You're he done. went from being reserved to being crazy. Now I'm oh, all yeah. in now, bro. I'm all in. I don't think you can beat it. I've always loved Hat Trigger. He's just so goofy. He it's is. a hat with sunglasses and a cape. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, we'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Slowly getting our footing back after a couple really unfortunate losses to Alex. I'm always happy to see the wheel in front of me. Uh, the last time we spun it, it was very unfortunate because we just needed like nothing from it. Like almost half of it was a dud with Dragons of Legend 2. This one on the other hand, there's always opportunity. So let's just spin it. Let's see what we can grab. Please be something good, man. I, I, I've i been needing something decent. The wild cards, I'm not even looking for them. And I, that's even more useless, bro. <laughs> a redoer ticket right now, I feel like it's just as useless as if it was in Alex's hands. I use mine a little bit more often. I guess it's nice to have it for myself, right? Maybe it'll save us from a poor decision later on. Today, though, is a very exciting set, man. I'm very, very excited to open Mega Pack 2015. I don't really have much to say. We tried to outplay Gage by bringing back a strategy that he is quite fond of, and unfortunately, it was just not good enough. But in any case, we're going to have another chance in this episode, and hopefully we can win this one, because otherwise, we are going into the banning, and more frighteningly, Gage will be tying up the series again. So, for today's episode, we have the 2015 Mega Packs released on September 17th, 2015. I like that we have these because this actually gives us a lot of potential. We're still at the point in the Mega packs history where they're solely just reprinting the cards from the previous four core sets at their same rarity. Later on, they start altering the rarities to make them more desirable and like more collectible or easier to acquire depending on the card. But as you can see here, stuff like Denko Seca and, you know, El Shadal Construct, if it wasn't banned, would be uh, useful to us and they are still in their ultra rare slots. It's nice, though, because we just have an opportunity to get a lot of these cards once again, or cards that we didn't previously get. This is our next opportunity to get them. You know, stuff like El Shadal Window. We still have a decent Shadal strategy, but obviously with Construct Ban, it's going to be very limited. There's Cleefort stuff. There's Deneb. There's Artifact Sanctum. Then there's, like, other just, like, more generic stuff, like the Xyz Monsters. Like, you can tell. There's just a lot of potential in here. I think the larger issue is, is the fact that we're only opening, what, 15 packs? And so, with that, we have to keep in mind that even though there's one card of each rarity, there's 39 ultras in here. So the chances that we're going to get what we want are pretty slim. Moving on down to the rares, I don't think there's anything too crazy. Like there's some of the teller cards. Uh, there's Dianea if Gage didn't ban that either. There's like more Shadal stuff, Panzer Dragon. The rares are like kind of whatever. Similarly, the super rares are fine, like Morale Tack, another chance to get that is pretty cool, especially since Call the Haunted is at three. I mean, more Shadal Fusion, there's like Herald of the Arclight, there's some of the generic stuff like Karen Gorgon and stuff. They're okay. Then of course, we have the secret rares, which uh, may be one of the worst slots, actually. Yeah, there's crazy stuff in here like Yazi, Shekinaga and stuff, but a lot of the secret rares are like really specific to like particular strategies, and we can't really play those in Prague. And then moving on to the commons, like if we're missing particular cards, like for, you know, artifacts, or desk bots or any random strategy. The commons are here and they're the most plentiful, but obviously it really just depends on how fleshed out our other strategies are to see how useful they are to us. And so we'll see how it plays out. We do though have to open three packs of Astral Pack 7. I think we get to Astral Pack 8 in a few episodes from now, but we'll see what happens when we get there. Flip them up, first pack. An Altair is nice if we actually can get like more copies of Deneb. I actually think we pulled a Deneb in Duelist Alliance, which is insane, but we're gonna need a lot more help in that department. Second pack, uh, well, there's an Anuklahai, although I'm not sure how we're looking in that area regarding the Satellar Knight commons and rares, although Anuklahai was a common. Uh, we also got Soul Hunter, which, like, 
This card's still $20 for some reason, which is insane to me. And uh, Level Limit Area B, a card that has not been used since 2006. In any case, ladies and gentlemen, 15 packs of Mega Pack last time we opened it was so exciting. Uh, it definitely brought a whole bunch of new strategy into play that we could try. So um, I'm really excited to see what we get this time around. All right, last time we did the Mega Packs, we agreed on a slightly bigger number, which I'm excited to do again. First, I got to activate something. Hold on. I can't believe it reset last time and I just forgot to fix it again. Oh my God. Oh my god, the dark mode. I'm so happy this exists. I'm sorry you guys have been watching progression series on the sun on my angle for the last few weeks. <laughs> last time we did the Mega Packs, we adjusted the count to give us a little bit more opportunity to pull some cool stuff. We went with 15 of those Mega Packs, so we're going to open 15 of these ones. See what we get? Number one. A wild monster appears. Uh, Swordsman of Revealing Light. A couple Deathbot cards here and there. Not too bad. Um, definitely could do better on the top end. And Jelly. Wow. Um... I was a huge Madolce nerd back in the day, probably when this set was around and stuff. I was really playing the deck. I loved it to tears. This was the best support card anybody would ask for. I don't even know if we have a playable Madolce deck. I want to say we don't, but hey, that's a cool pool. Oh, Sky Calvary Centuria and a Stellar Knight Del Taros. Season one, I remember brewing up some crazy decks with this guy here. This has always been a pretty good rank two. We actually have a pretty nasty raccoon deck. Maybe the uh, Centuria makes that make a comeback. Who knows? Oh my god. Wow. Oh, didn't I just ban Shadal Fusion? I want to say this is crazy. The one thing we didn't have, the, we we had the Shadal Fusion. We didn't have the Fusion Monster to go to into it. We got both in one pack. I want to say I banned Shadal Fusion, though. I want to say I got ahead of it. And now that we pulled it, I got to say, I'm not excited to see that we finally got something to pair with it. Two Fusion? Wow, we could have done some crazy shit with that. Rank up Magic the seventh one. Has anybody actually used this card before its effect? It's, it's like super iconic. I remember one of the coolest things back in the day you could do actually is if you played Sylvan, you could stack this card to the top of your deck and then draw it, and then you could use it. Ah, stupid shit like that, bro. Sacrifice too. Uh, the Cleef Forts. This is like definitely like integral to that Cleef strategy there, allowing the Cleef Fort monster to be used as two tributes, and then if it's sent from the graveyard, and any Cleef monster from your deck to your hand also gives a little attack boost. You know, pretty nice. All right, 15 packs of Mega Pack 15 coming right up. I gotta be honest, I don't really know what I'm looking for out of here. I think I need to see what we pull and then evaluate from there because there's just too many cards in this set to properly evaluate. And so let's just flip up the first pack, see what we get. We're gonna scroll all the way down here because I think this is what we care about the most. Time Space Trap Hole, as far as secret rares go, is actually quite strong just because it's like one of the more generic secret rares. The rest of these cards though, kind of suck. Pack number two, anything useful? Another copy of Amaterasu, we already have one of those. And uh, Monarchs Erupt, if we want to play more Floodgates. There is a copy of Angeli. Now, I, I, I do not think Madolce is on the table, but if it is, getting a copy of Angeli would not hurt. Anonku's pretty sick if we want to play any sort of Infernoid strategy, but I don't really think we have the other necessary pieces to go into that. Uh, Sylvan Sage Koya similarly, but some of these archetypes are just too high rarity for us. Clifford Disc is a sick card, but again, like without multiple copies of this and like Scout, like we're just not able to play Klee. So this is like the problem with the Mega Packs. Whoa, Karen Gorgon, that's a really great rank four. <laughs> that's awesome, actually. Considering we just played a Clown Blade deck, like, that could be a pretty spicy inclusion. Artifact Sanctum's amazing to see, too. I think all the rest of the artifacts we've got were pretty slacking, though. This is one of those things where you need three Sanctum plus one of any of the other artifacts. But uh, any other way you try to frame it, it just doesn't work. That's my second Shekinaga. Barf. Oh, a second Angeli and a second Wild Monster appears. Uh, I need to check on the Medolches. This is looking pretty good. Oh, speaking of Sylvans, bro. Three Shekinaga, three Shekinaga. You can give me a dip. I think I have an ultimate rare version of this Sheki Naga in my collection already. I think you can give me something else. Oh, I mean, I, it is a different fusion. There you go. Nefe should all fusion, I guess. I'm not really paying attention to the commons. I don't think there's really anything too much I'm looking for in there. Uh, oh, Durandal and Forbidden Scripture. Wow, this is a card that I just completely forgot ever came out. Out of all the forbidden cards, this one just, like, didn't make the most sense. If an opponent monster battles during damage calc, negate all other card effects on the field until end of damage step. Also, damage calc for this uses original attack defense. I'm trying to read this, and I'm... Is this ever going to be one of those cards that, like, comes up randomly? It's got a unique effect, right? It's one of the things I guess it had to exist. The Randall. I hate this card, bro. Alex, Alex, if he pulls one of these, maybe he'll tell you how much I hate this card. God, that fucking sucks. Gage banned our construct, unfortunately. So if we actually had this unbanned, we could play with multiple constructs. And funny enough, I don't even know if we have multiple Shadal Fusion. So we may not even be able to summon it, but honestly, we could recycle them with the construct's effect. So that just sucks. 
Ooh, Artifact Sanctum in the Ultra Rare slot, though. That's pretty sick. We I don't even know if we have Moral Tack, I'm going to be honest. But if we do pull Moral Tack, that is actually a pretty strong card and a very annoying card at that. I wonder if we have Scythe. Rank Up Magic, the seventh one. Uh, quite the meme card. Very funny if we could actually uh, pull that off, but I don't think our Pro Tag powers are that powerful. You know, I did mention about needing Scout in order for Disc to be playable, and uh, there's a copy of it. Now, we still need, like, every other Klee card under the sun, so it is what it is. Array is kind of neat. It's actually a generic 7, but it, like, is specifically used for the Sylvan strategy, and we're just way too far off from using that. Denko Seca. Iconic card from back in the day. I remember not... I remember a lot of Shadal decks sending off some mean OTKs with this starting the turn. Pretty crazy. Uh, wow, back to back Dragon, and then I got another Sinister Shadow Games, bro. I don't know how good the Shadal deck is with uh, no fusion. Another Centuria and an Infernoid Anunku. I think our Infernoids um aren't too shabby. I don't know if they're the greatest thing in the world though. Sylvan Princess bro. Coming from the last two packs here, another Scripture and a Sacrifice. Ugh, barf. Uh, last pack though. Magical Spring! Hey, if you were playing in today's format, you would be pogging out of control. Unfortunately, back in the day, and for almost the majority of its release, uh, a lot of people were upset that they would get this Seeker Rare. It is not good. Contextually to the time. Relax. Monarchs Erupt is actually sick, though. Um, considering we played some other nasty Monarch strategies, like this card is a Skill Drain or something like that? Yeah? That's not too bad, right? He's pretty good. And the Metaphys Horus is just like a level 6 Synchro. I thought I already had one. Take a moment, let's think about these pulls before we uh, decide if we want to reroll them or not. Another copy of Seventh One. That's hilarious. Lightning Rod Lord. Uh, everyone may remember this from Master Duel Masochist, which uh, he actually put in work for quite some time, but he's been retired to the bulk bin for now. And Metaphys Horus is like an okay level six synchro. It doesn't really come up very often, but it's like not terrible to have. I am almost certain that is like my third copy of Herald of Ultimateness, which is like not terrible, but like, I don't know if we're ever going to play a deck that actually takes advantage of this. I think Herald of Perfection at this point in time is more playable than Ultimateness. Ooh, Solemn Scolding isn't a terrible secret rare. Uh, we're actually getting some okay secrets, but unfortunately, it just depends like if we can really build a deck to take advantage of them. Solemn Scolding, the biggest problem is it can be the only card in your set back row, and uh, we still have Judgment Legal, so I'm not even sure how good this is. Wow, everyone in the comments is going to be fiending for me to play Medolce if if it is in fact playable but double Angeli is crazy also another Areo, which is just weird only two packs left I guess we can go ahead and see what we're gonna get out of these uh there's a Boxia which honestly is like not terrible I think we already have Yazi but I'm not sure if like there's really much else we can do with it outside of that I've always loved Doomstar Magician's artwork it reminds me of like Breaker if it was like emo but it is what it is let's see the last pack if there's anything crazy oh my god we got a third Areo um Artifact Ignition's okay. Again, I don't think we have a Moral Tack, but I'm gonna quickly look at my collection here and sort of decide what we wanna do because this is this is weird. After pondering it, I'm not happy with it. I think we could do better. Looking at the, the top end, I'm just super disappointed, right? Three Shekinaga? Where is it? Three Shekinaga? Uh, two Forbidden Scripture? Uh, thanks, Konami. The only thing I was really happy with was actually the Shadal Fusion, but... I'm okay if I lose it, too. I haven't been playing any episodes with it anyways. And two, a wild monster appears. Wow, yeah, I think definitely we can do a lot better than that. I'm confident with a redoer ticket, like the one we just got on the wheel today, we could probably get some better cards. Hey, maybe it was a good thing that I ended up spinning the redoer ticket, right? I'm going to spend it. Let's see what we get this time around. I'm looking for Burning Abyss cards, actually. I think we could build something really slick with that, with like a Dante. We already have a couple Skarms in our mix, Graphs and Seers. Um, I'd love to see more of them. See what we get this time. That's the worst pack I've seen yet. <laughs> I can't believe it. We got another wild monster pierce, the flutist and the noble knights of the round table. Jeez, thanks, man. Exactly what I wanted. Teller Nova Alpha. Cool counter trap. Some very, very poopy freaking other hollows, though. Okay, I, I was really about to get upset, but Psalm Scolding's a genuinely decent card. Playing any decks that maybe don't play any other back row, you could just play three Psalm Scolding and it'd be one of your best arsenals, right? 3,000 life points to negate any set card. 3,000 life points to negate anything? Yeah, that's pretty good. She went in Suwani. I'm not building Yangzing. Sorry, it's not gonna happen. Time, space, trap hole. I actually have a t-shirt. Actually, I made a t-shirt based on this design. I actually really like the artwork on this thing. I always have. I don't have words. Another wild monster appears. Why? Why does it keep giving me this secret rare? Wind is like, all right. Like, we still have our Shadal Fusion currently, like the, the regular one. 
Now we actually have a fusion monster to work with it. Uh, this is one of the better ones. Oh my god, thank god, there he is. The Traveler of the Burning Abyss! I was waiting so long for him to show up. Where do you have to come from, Timbuktu? Well, I'm glad he's in the collection now. I actually really wanted him. That's what we spent the whole reroll on getting. Just hopefully at least one copy of this guy. Maybe we have some other stuff to build around it. I'd love to see more of the rares. Uh, oh, those are... Okay, we did trade away the Sanctum, which would have gotten me really amped to pull a Moral Attack, but hey, there's still hope. We can still find one. Amaterasu's just uh, a decent rank 4, right? We'll put him in there. Another Time Space Trapple. Wow, I got two of them things now. And Flash Knight! Another really crappy Ultra Rare, man. I, don't, I haven't gotten one Ultra Rare that's really, really struck me, right? Oh my god, except that one. That's my second Noble Knights of the Round Table. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Two Super Heavy Samurai Flutists? I'll give this guy a fucking flute to play. Probably don't clip that. Maybe? Gristai ain't got nothing to say about you. All right, pack 10. What do we got? Another Moral Attack and an Ignition and the seventh one. Hey, you guys remember when I told you how you could stack that with the Sylvan cards? I feel like it was just yesterday, bro. I definitely wanted to see that secret rare again. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That, uh, never mind. <laughs> I had to think back on it, and we do have the Shadal Fusion, but the reason we still have Shadal Fusion in our deck is because we banned Shadal Construct. That was our that was our reasoning, is like, Alex has Construct, I don't. Now that we both have it, I, I'm i a little bit upset to see this in the Ultra Rare spot. Core is like super good, though, so I, I can't complain about that. This is actually a really good card. Yazi is a fantastic level 7 one of the good generic level 7s that in the later stages actually gets really strong too because of some of the worms you can pick off it. One of the ones that comes to mind is like Mare Mare. Some really crazy wacky combos you can do just pulling that card alone off of Yazi. I'm happy to see that. I actually don't mind that one. Oh wow. There's Denko again, Panzer Dragon, and Ryza, the Storm Monarch. Perfect for the Fluonaries deck once we're there. How many more years in the future? Like eight of them? Two more packs left. Anything big? Another Yazi. A little bit upsetting to see the duplicate of him. Don't think I'll be playing two anytime soon. And the last pack, another Grista. Okay, okay, we got the Karen Gorgon refund, though. I'm happy to see this guy. All together, I think it's way better than our initial spin, for sure. I'm really happy to see the Traveler of the Burning Abyss traveling his way into my uh, collection there. Hopefully, we have, like, a cool Burning Abyss deck to play around it. Definitely better than the first go. I can't complain. Uh, we'll put it in the collection. See what we got. So I'm taking a look through everything, and it's like, there's like some things I wish I would have pulled. Like, Karen Gorgon would be kind of cool. Herald of the Arclight, I guess. Like, maybe El Shadal Fusion. Moral Tack to pair or Scythe, for that matter, with the Sanctum. But like, and you know, like Winda, perhaps. Deneb, I guess. But like, with Deneb, I feel like we almost maybe have a better rank four strategy now that we have the, uh, the clowns. So... I don't know. I There are some like things we could maybe improve upon, but honestly, I don't know if it's really worth the redo ticket. So I, I think I'm just going to lock it in and uh, we'll see where it goes. I don't think there's anything like too game breaking in here. It's a fine set, but it is what it is. Let's just go ahead and uh, add it to the collection and let's get to building. Like I said, if I have an opportunity to build Burning Abyss and play it, I'm gonna give it a shot. This is the best version of the deck that we have for BA, more of a trap build. It does not have some of the most powerful cards of the era. Things like Fire Lake of the Burning Abyss stand out in particular. One of the coolest cards to be able to manage the board, popping two of your own Burning Abyss to destroy three cards. Um, That would have been perfect for this deck, right? But we gotta think of different things. Fortunately, we still have a lot of really good cards to be able to pair with a Burning Abyss strategy. Fiend Griefing is an incredible common card that was released not too long ago. Allows us to uh, shuffle a card into the deck and then send a Fiend from deck to graveyard. Karma Cut and Fiend Swing Wind Blast are great utility cards to pitch some of these out of the hand, which they all trigger when they get sent. Great that we have Triple Graph, Triple Scar, even fantastic. Unfortunately, Seer is like at a one of. Uh, it really kind of sucks. I would have loved to play Tour Guide too. I think Alex got rid of it. Isn't that so scummy? What a lame -o. Hard to believe that I've had Tour Guide at two for the longest time. We gotta look for an unbanned ticket. Maybe that would bring this deck to the next level. I really just want to take full advantage of the fact that I have a Dante Traveler of the Burning Abyss that I get to play with today. Uh, I don't even know if this deck is good necessarily. It allows me to play some great rank threes, like Leviathan Dragon is still good, Dante's amazing, and then even Zen Mains. Wind Up Zen Mains is still a fantastic Yu-Gi-Oh card. One that I was praising so much at the beginning of the Zexel era, and it really actually never even had a time to shine in progression series. So 
if any time is going to shine, it's going to be in a rank three deck like this one. I want to remain optimistic. I want to hope we can seal a win with this one, but I'm just looking for a good time today, regardless. He may not regularly watch the progression series anymore, but my good friend is with us in spirit. Let's see if we can bring it to a victory today. You know, Gage had so much fun clowning around last episode that I think we are going to reciprocate. I think this deck's actually quite good, and I think that uh, with some modifications, we can actually continue to improve upon this strategy. So let's see how it goes. We're playing Clown Blade, ladies and gentlemen. Notably, Gage, I don't think, has a copy of Thousand Blade, so he can't even play the Blade component of this deck. So arguably, our version of this deck is actually much better than his because the whole reason this deck is good is because the synergy between these two cards, being able to shit out a rank four every single time for free. So let's see how well that pays off. So we are playing BLS. Yes, I know it's a crutch, but honestly, it's just so good being able to slam this guy down. You might notice there's a lack of darks in the main deck, but King of the Feralimps is a dark, and we're almost always going to be making two or three copies of this guy per turn. And so I think it's fine to have this in here because this will always fulfill our dark condition when we have so many lights in the main deck. Valor is just a nice hand trap. We've got the double assault halberd with the thousand blades. If you're unfamiliar, when uh, the trick clown is actually sent to the graveyard, you're going to take a thousand damage to bring this back. And then when you take damage, the thousand blades resurrects itself as well, meaning you can make another rank four immediately. And you can do this every single turn, assuming both of these cards are in the graveyard. We, of course, have triple gigabyte because we're playing a million spellcasters. We also have a copy of Juragato to use as well. And this is just a nice, cool rank four sort of battle trick type card we can take advantage of that Gage probably won't see coming. We have double mathematician just to set up stuff like our trick clown and other cards. We have a nefarious archfiend eater of nefariousness, which is like another copy of Jigabyte for all intents and purposes, but has some like weird use. Triple damage juggler, the double hat tricker, and the triple trick clown, and one photon thrasher rounding out the monsters. For spells, we have Book of Moon, double dark hole. I want to play a bunch of board wipes because it's actually very easy to produce 8,000 damage with this deck. And assuming Gage doesn't have like gores or fader or anything like that, we're going to be able to get in. And depending on the type of deck he's playing, he may or may not be able to support that, so we'll see how it goes. Foolish is a must-have in here. Pot of Greed, of course, is just the best card ever. Reinforcements has multiple targets in both the main and the side, and of course, Soul Charge is a Soul Charge. And then for the traps, we have Bottomless Compulse, Triple Fiendish Chain, Mirror Force, Judgment Warning, Time Space Trap Hole. See, we're playing some new cards, and a Torrential Tribute. The extra is just every rank four we can think of, so we have Dweller, Castell, thank God we have this now. We have Digusto Emerald, Dark Rebellion, Exceeds Dragon, Exiton, Double Gaga Ga Samurai, because it's really easy for us to produce a lot of damage with this deck, and so even if the first Samurai gets cleared, I kind of want to have the second one just in case. Triple King of the Feralimps because we can just, just abuse this card to all hell. We have Lavable Chain just to set up really nicely. We have Double One to One. We have Ragna Zero. And of course, we have Trapeze Magician, which is also a huge damage producing card. And then the side is just Warrior Lady, which is a nice Rota target, but also just helps us out weird things. Same thing goes for like Grand Mole. I have a nice little interaction with Glow Up Bulb and Naturia Beast in here because Hat Tricker, funny enough, is an Earth. And so is like Nefarious Archfiend Eater of Nefariousness and the Thousand Blades and the Assault Halberd. So depending on if Gage is playing a spell heavy deck, we could board this in when we know we're going first. And we're able to make Nap Beast turn one in addition to like one or two rank fours, which is just disgusting. If we can back that up with some trap cards, we have the Para Para. We have double Kaiku. This is kind of like if he's just on this deck as well. Kaiku can like banish like all the graveyard stuff. And then he's just kind of out of luck. Brain Con, double Lance, triple MST and double Dust Tornado. It's pretty straightforward. And uh, honestly, this deck's a lot of fun. So I can't wait to see how it plays out. Let's not make you wait any longer, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to duel. Gage, I don't know how we managed to do it. So a few weeks ago, you're in the banning fighting for your life. And now a few weeks later, here we are. I'm in the banning fighting for my life. So uh, I guess that's the ebbs and flows of the progression series. And uh, the mega packs make for a mega episode. How are you feeling, my friend? Yeah, I'm liking the constant swings in season two. Let me tell you, at this point, like, I probably would have been, like, 40 games deficit to yours. <laughs> so, so, like, I... I I want to say it's a lot more close than last season. And I do really like Mega Pack 15. I'm really liking the inclusion of side sets. It's sets like this that really gets me excited about it because we get to experience everything we just experienced the last year conceptually in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Yeah, it's like for all the Duelist packs and for all of the Dragons of Legend 2s we come across, we do get good side sets every once in a while. And the fact that we get to sort of retrace our steps and get access to some of the cards that we may have missed the first time around, I think is really important because it helps enable some strategies that may uh, have been off the table for the past several months. And now, who knows, with a couple cards, we could be bringing something completely new to the table. So let's get into it, buddy. Uh, let's see if I can get out of uh, the potential banning here. Shout out to Benjamin Lutz over on Patreon. Thank you so much much for the support. Let's see how this one goes. Thanks, it's Benjamin. not starting off very good. Looks very rocky to start here. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> it does, bro, yes. Uh, I will start by uh, the constant battle, bro. Is the extra card too good? Yep. It's not. Yep. Uh, is it? It's not. I'm going to go first. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> That's the I'll luck, start my with friend. The initiative. Good luck, duelist. Ooh, my God, bro. Okay, stand by main. Yeah, it's good enough. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, man. I. Let me show you what I'm working with today. I think it's a little okay. fun deck. I'm, I'm, I want to say I'm optimistic. We'll see. I'm going to start by, with no monsters on my field, I will special summon Alec Malambranch of the Burning Abyss. There's no way you're playing this. I, I could be. I'm, you'll see why it comes together when I also summon Calcab from my... Is there hand. a particular rank 3 Xyz monster you opened in Mega Pack 15 that there potentially might be brought... A there he is! Pretty there handsome is. guy named Dante oh, Traveler of the Burning Abyss, man. Okay. Do you, re do you ever play Burning Abyss back in the day? I, I loved Burning Abyss back in the day. Loved yep. this deck, dude. What a cool TCG exclusive. I miss when we got good ones. Alright, well, uh, I am gonna mill 3 just to get some cards out the deck here. Doesn't look like Alec will do too much in the future, so I'll just mill with him. Mills for cost, very notably, and he important does. here. Uh, oh, what no, the fuck? Stop. <laughs> that was, that's crazy. The best mills Sometimes in the you're game. just too good. Sometimes you're right? just too good. Would you like to trigger some effects yeah. here, my friend? Let me do uh, Graph Chain Link 2, Seer Chain Link 1, Target Graph. That's fine. Okay, cool. So, Graph's going to summon from deck. I think I already got a guy with his name here, on I'll, it. I'll help you out here, buddy. I'll, I'll help you out here while you're, while you're digging <laughs> thanks, in the deck. Thanks, thanks, but go. just speeding up the process. They're both burning abysses. They don't destroy. Let's make another rank three. What do we got? Oh, I guess he's too good, right? <laughs> I'm going to make... a second... Da oh, okay. I was waiting for Dante seven. 2 to come down. No, no, no. I'll, I'll clue you in. I do not have a second copy of the Traveler, but... <laughs> okay. But we got a couple rank threes. This one in particular is pretty good from what I remember. I'll add one, two... Decent turn one, your move. You're right about this being ambitious. All right, let's see how we can uh, navigate it here. I'll go stand by main if that's okay with yeah. you. Yeah. All right. Um, now I'm going to have to think how I want to play this out. Yeah, this Dark is Hole be doesn't look nearly as good to clean it, right? No, it does not. No, it does not. <laughs> interesting. Okay. I'll take a moment to think here. Dude, those mills. I can't believe <laughs> Those <laughs> mills were so good. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. They're a bit insane, some would say. Oh, man. Well... I have ways to deal with this. I think the the more outstanding issue here is that you have two back row I have to worry about, and that's kind of annoying. So I guess we'll have to do our best and see what happens. Uh, we are going to start out with, since you control a monster and I do not, uh, Gage, I thought the deck you played last episode was so great. I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot myself here. So let's bring out an Assault Halberd. I respect it. You know what? Good little rank four toolbox. I know how much you like those. Yeah, of course. Is this fine? Yeah, that's good. All right, let's bring out a damage juggler for our normal summon. Yeah, that's going to be okay, too. Okay. And then let's, I guess, keep it going. Let's just bring out a hat tricker while we're at it, too. <laughs> oh, man, bro. Look at him. Yeah, okay. You're still good. The, the clowns are all here to play. The clowns are all it's here to play. It's almost like you're all worried right. about anything like that I have in this back row removing your XYZ card. Well, what a weird concept, right? <laughs> what a weird concept. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and overlay... Uh, who do we want out here? Well, I guess we'll just start with what will demand like an immediate answer. Uh, we're going to go like... We're going to leave Hat Tricker out. Let's do these two lads here. Uh, we're gonna go for King of the Feral Imps. Notably, that does not take care of any of the cards on the board. So why not? He's okay. We'll use the effect then, if that's fine. Sure. Uh, we'll get uh, one of your friends that you may remember, the ah, good old Gigabyte. Like that guy, sure. Well, special. Yep. And let's overlay again. This time we will go for a Castell the Sky Blaster Musketeer. Oh, he's blasting, bro. Um, sure, that's fine. All right, uh, we will try for the effect. I'm gonna go after. It doesn't matter. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> you can pick none of them. Breakthrough skill. Sure. Cool. It's fine. That'll deal with it. It's no big deal. Uh, okay. Get us to exactly where we wanted, but that's okay. What's your next turn look like? You're gonna like mill with Dante, do some stuff. Got some back row still. Like that's fine. Sure. Uh, we'll use the damage juggler. Okay. I'm gonna grab myself a copy of the good old trick clown. Sure. And I think I'm just gonna set a card and I'll throw it to you. You don't wanna attack into my wind up Zen mains. Uh, I'm good. Come buddy. on. I'm right. Good. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll draw for turn. Standby phase, main phase. Is that okay? All good. All right. I'll start with the Dante effect, detaching Calcab. 
Milling for cost. Mill for cost. Let's see what you mill first. Oh, my lord. Oh, bro. Farfa and another Calca. Okay, let me see here. Uh, all right, let's go chain link one cal cab to farfa for the farfa i will banish obviously target this with cal cab for the banish mm -hmm. i'm trying to i'm gonna get over this king of the fair limbs anyways um i guess banish the castell it's not doing anything anyways okay so chain link one you're gonna target my back row chain two on the castell to banish it with farfa I think we're gonna chain three fiendish chain on your Zen mains. Oh, and Calcab won't bounce this because it's not it's yeah, yeah. To that target. I, that's so, probably. A, what do you have as a chain link four here or nothing? Um, I don't have a chain link four, so this is gonna resolve. Okay, so Castell's out of here. I'm gonna write this in chat because I always forget with Farfa. Yeah, I'll just put something right here. Um, sure, and then we're good. Proceed. And then um, I'll switch my boy to attack. I'll go battle phase, yep. and I will attack into your king. And I'll take two. I had to deliberate on what I wanted to fiendish chain here, because either way, you can clear king with whatever you attacked with. I yeah. figured just better to chain up the Zen mains. All right. Um, right. I'm going to main phase two, just normal summon Skarm and let him blow up. Sure. Uh, and then I'll go to the end phase, and I'll trigger it. Cast all comes back. It does, yes. All right. I want to pick up a graph Malin branch of the Burning Abyss. Good looking sure. guy there. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just pass to you. Go ahead. All right, and I will draw. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll go stand by main. This Dante's in defense, by the way, per its effect. I, for I completely forgot about that effect. That is bro. very good for you. you. It is very <laughs> good for you that that goes that to existed. defense. <laughs> yeah, you're so lucky I'm nice. I do need to start attempting to clean up some of this stuff on the board, so maybe we'll do that. I don't think I know anything in your hand, right? Uh, you know Trick Clown, because I searched Oh, that is right. I do know Trick, yes. Yep. Good old trick. I think I'm going to start with a Foolish Burial. Okay. Greatest okay. minus one in the game. I'm into it. It's going to be an even better minus one when I send Thousand Blades. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Dude, would you believe me if I told you I pulled zero copies of this I'm guy? aware. I'm aware, which means <laughs> I, I theoretically have the better version of this deck than yeah, you do. Yeah, right? In theory, of course. Here, you theory. should show me what he does. <laughs> uh, we're about to find out. We'll normal this trick clown out. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. And uh, I'll special another hat tricker while we're at oh, it. Oh, shit. Okay, kind of going crazy. Yeah, that's good. All good? All right. We're going to yep. overlay. Uh, thinking what I want here. Man, why does Dante have so many defense points? It's irritating. Because what year did this set come out? Yeah. The game's changed, bro. Every, everything's changed. big now. It has changed. Let's go ahead and run out our good old friend Rebellion Exceeds Dragon. You remember him. Attach to target a face up becomes half. Um, I am familiar with this guy here. Let me see here. Uh, I also... I'm reading him again, and he says, have the attack, only attack. So mm -hmm. I don't know if he's even that scary. Um, What do you do here? You kill my Zen mains by battle? I'll be a little bent out of shape about that. Um, You've got one more rank four you can make. I don't think you have a second cast, though. That, that would be... I feel like that would be the instant make, right? Well, considering I had to steal my first Castell from you and the snatching, that's uh, true. That clue you in. <laughs> that's true. You know what? Thanks for that info. I, this makes this play, I think, probably better. I am going to activate Karma Cut. Sure. I'm going to pitch the uh, King Backjack, of course, banishing the XYZ Dragon. Yep. Okay. Uh, and then, that's out of here. Uh, yep. I am turn player, so yep. I have Trick Clown, and I believe you have a backjack. You can. I fire. do. Yes. Yeah, so chain link to backjack. I'll banish face down to readjust the top of the deck here. Okay. Um, I'm going to stack as per follows. One, two, three. Okay. My Trick proceed. Clown comes up. Yep. And I'll take a thousand damage. That'll yep. trigger my thousand blades. Get my thousand blades out. Uh, and then, as you said, we can make another four, which is fun. Uh, the problem with that is that we are just, like, running out of guys now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, what do you make? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, I mean, your Zen mains is chained up. I know the last card in your hand is Graph, because you searched it off Skarm. So, like, you're not really doing a whole lot next turn. If I'm, I mean, granted, you just stacked your deck, and you have a backjack. So, it's like, you've got some things you can do. Honestly, I think in this situation, I'm just going to play for advantage. So, I'm going to make another King of the Fair Limbs. Okay. What did it? Oh, no, relax, no, 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 no. You might have something. Do you, you want to hear something, something funny, bro? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I was I was holding the left mouse button as to toggle on, as if I was in Master <laughs> 
<laughs> I was like, wait, I have a response. <laughs> but I do have something. I have quick effects. I am going to use my quick effect of Absolute King Backjack. During sure. your turn, I can banish it to excavate the top and set it if it's a normal trap. Yeah, oh, would you look cut. at that? It's a compulsory oh, evacuation device. Did you know I can also activate it this turn? As per I back, did know that. Back. So, uh, see ya, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's out of here. Doesn't matter what I would have made in that situation then, so I guess I feel a little bit better yeah. about that. All right, so I know you're just sitting on a graph. I got, like, nothing else going on, so I am passing. <laughs> yeah, bro, I knew you ain't got nothing going Super on. Super simplified game state we find ourselves in. Draw for turn. Stand by main. You also know your next two draws, which is nice for you. I do, yeah. I, it is nice. You think it would be, but... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> would it, I can't be fucking Castell, actually. Uh, what happens when an unstoppable force meets two immovable objects? Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I don't really got an efficient way to outcast L here, but I got something I can do. I'm just going to go to the battle phase and declare no attacks, and then I'll go to the main phase too. Are you going to downerd? <laughs> uh, I might have uh, the magician, bro. I'm going to slap a Tron downerd on top of the Zen You got enemies. the Zeus on top of it too? Uh, no, no, but like, can you? this card gains 200 for each material. It's cake. It's 27. Up right now. It's big. It's big. One of them's pretty cool. Run it. Let's put the second one on there, too. Run. <laughs> Did you pull some of these in the uh, Megatons today, uh, maybe? Not today, actually. I think I raw had oh, okay. both of these, bro. It's kind of crazy. That's insane, actually. Yeah. That's crazy. Um, This is going to be fine. I, they're going to live. I'm very confident. So I'll just pass turn. I'll draw. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, or will they live it all, Mr. Pojack? Oh, no. Will they live what? it all? What now? <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. You got two in hand. I know one's a graph. Yes, you know one's a graph. Oh, oh, this is going to get so nasty for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. This might just be over. This oh, be over. <laughs> don't say that. I'm going to activate Soul Charge. Oh, my fucking God. No for hesitation. 4,000. 4, no hesitation. You Get ready for what's about to come. Okay, I'm I don't ready. think you're ready. The only thing that's going to be coming is me after this. <laughs> all right. So we're going to summon four guys out. Bringing them all back. Yeah, okay. Uh, doesn't really matter here. Uh, so now I tend to be careful with my positioning for how I do this, if I want to do this properly. So what we're going to do is, and I think... I've got it. Okay. So we're going to overlay... Oh, I really got to plan this out strategically. No battle phase, um, too, and he's so calm. No battle phase. Easy. You're easy. out of okay. good rank fours, though. What do you make? We do that. We do that. I do it that way first. Yeah, I do. I think I do it that way first, and we're fine. Yeah, okay. You're cooked. This is so over. <laughs> Yo. Um, I'm going to... Oh, wait. I have to be... No, that's fine. Okay. We're going to overlay these two for Abyss Dweller. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna overlay these two for a Ragna Zero. Thanks for the attack boost you got. Oh, there, buddy. you gotta be kidding! Uh, no, we're gonna way. detach this Trick Clown for Abyss Dweller. That's gonna trigger Abyss Dweller. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Abyss Dweller, <laughs> thankfully, is only your opponent cannot activate stuff in Grave. Uh, so we're gonna do this: get the Trick Clown back, uh, trigger Thousand Blades, get the Thousand Blades back. And then we're going to overlay and make a 101 on top of it. Oh, my fucking God. And I put them in attack position, too. Uh, you did. That's all Thank you very fault. much. Yeah, I, I definitely so, blundered that one. Yep. We're going to pop this downward and draw a card. Okay, I do have... Uh, resolving Ragna Zero properly this yes, time. Yes, yes. I've got a trigger for a graph, so... Uh, you have no triggers because you're Dwellered. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use <laughs> no. this 101 and take your downer. I forgot. No. Oh, my <laughs> God. Bro. I am getting rinsed here. Yeah. Uh, so you can take him. A and Dante, Dante will fall yeah. off, but no effect, no effect because of Dweller. Yep. And, um, oh, no. I don't have a battle phase. Oh, well. Go ahead. I've got some work to do. <laughs> I, I, I've got some work to do. I'll draw. I knew. And you know what? It's maybe I just dwell. Do I just dwell her right now? What am I? You know what? No, go ahead. You're fine. I'm going to wait. You have no board. You're not doing shit. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> wow. Um, It doesn't look good. I don't know if that would surprise you. <laughs> what, what gave you that impression? Just out of curiosity. <laughs> All right. I think I've crafted a way for lethal with this. It's, it's kind of whack. I, I hope you're ready for it. I'm going... There's no way, but okay. Normal graph. Sure. Okay, I knew about that. Special Skarm. Okay. Overlay. What are we making? I'm making Moozle Rhythm, the String de Jin, bro. He's going to be playing oh. the song of your demise in a moment here. Is, his, Is he? His summon's okay, right? Uh, I think... 
this is fine. It just doubles the attack, and it's 3k, which thankfully my dweller's 17. So I'm not dead. I'm very close, but I'm not dead. Um, when do you detach Damage step. During damage oh, step? Oh, those words, okay. bro. I get the same. Isn't that powerful? Do you? All right. Okay. Uh, I, sure. Battle phase. Okay. I'm going to declare an attack into Abyss Dweller. Okay, on attack deck, I'll Dweller. I'll activate Breakthrough Skill from the Graveyard, negating it. Gonna negate the Dweller. Do you see the writing on the wall yet? <laughs> Do you see it? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, did he put oh, it together? Oh, shit. <laughs> And I don't think I can Ragna you, you in You definitely can't. Can you for sure can't. <laughs> oh my god. Are you going to really walk with this? Because I left a monster in attack position? Oh my fucking god. <sighs> I'll attack with loser rhythm? Sure. Damage step. Detach the uh -huh. graph. Boost mm -hmm. it by double. This only works because you have graph. <laughs> that is sickening. Yep. Separate chain link. Graph trigger. I'll uh -huh. summon Barbar -bar from the deck. I do not control the burning. He blows himself up. He blows himself up, and I'll use his effect to banish three. That is so Whoa! fucking infuriating. <laughs> that is so fucking infuriating. Whoa, I don't. What a game. I'm like, I, I didn't have to put it in attack. I didn't have to. I'm like, oh, he doesn't have level fours. I don't have to worry about 101 on the crackback or any of that. Wow, what a game. Dude, that was oh crazy. Oh my fucking God. <laughs>I think what's even more demoralizing about that is that when I made that play, I specifically realized you don't have Nightmare Shark because Nightmare Shark came out in some like weird product. It was like, it was like a manga promo it or was. like something that we don't open uh, for this for this show unless it gets reprinted later on. And so I'm like, oh good, I'm under the threshold where like none of this is going to matter because that was like the only card off the top of my head. As someone who used to play BA, I remember that's how you can cheese wins. Um, I forgot about the other way to cheese wins, which was Barbar, -bar, and I thought Dweller, I was just safe, but the combination of Muzu Rhythm plus Breakthrough Skill, uh, I I have no words. I, I'm going to go first. I guess those are the only words I've got, buddy. Yeah, I don't uh, think you need play. any words, bro. All, you, all I can say is good luck. <laughs> Let's see what you and got. Holy shit, am I going to need it looking at this hand? Um, wow. I that know bad? What to do with this hand. <laughs> kind of, I'm not going to lie to you. Kind of. Kind of. I'm going to set three and pass. Oh, in his rank four deck. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll draw. Stand by main. I liked your foolish burial just as much as I'm going to like mine. Is this going to be okay? Yep. Dump that graph. I will dump the graph, and then I'll use its effect. I'm going sure. to summon Skarm from the deck. Mm-hmm. I'm going to normal summon Farfa, Mountain Branch of the Burning Abyss. Seems fine. I'll overlay these two. I, he plays under like just about everything that's not Dimensional Prison. The Burning Abyss Traveler. Does it play under Time Space Trap Hole? Holy fuck, it does not. <laughs> What's it get launched back in the extra deck? Goes yeah. back to the extra. I would prefer it banished, but you know, we'll take it. That's all right. We can use him again. Um, Got no triggers, I guess. Uh, was it back? Skarm triggers on graveyard, and then during the end phase, it searches. Right? Uh, no, it triggers like in the end phase. Okay, I, I think yeah. that was a a debate back then. Um, I'm just going to add a back row of my own. I'll go end phase, and I'll use the Skarm. Uh, sure. Let's see what you get. Okay. Um, I'll pick up another graph. All right, I'm gonna dust your back row too. Oh fuck. Okay, yeah, that's fine. There goes BTH. Draw. Oh my god. Terrible. Actually terrible. It's another graph. You know what? We'll get in. Nefarious Archfiend Eater <laughs> of Nefarious. Yep. Cool card. 15. Yep, I'll take it. All right, I'll set another one. Go ahead. Draw. Unfortunate. Um, I will set, and I'll pass. Go ahead. I'll draw. It does not get any better. Uh, main one. Yes. So what are you setting? I know you have a graph. Could have just set graph to try to like wall off potentially. Uh, conveniently, it has the exact defensive stat of my nefarious archfiend eater of nefariousness, so that's kind of annoying. I think I'm okay with this. I'm gonna run out my hat trigger. Sure. Are you specialing it? I'm guessing. I'm specialing. Okay. It. Yep. Because there's two monsters on the field. Fine. I think this is probably just the right play. Um, we'll play for King of the Fairlimbs here. Sure. Not really much to contest it. I feel like 
Oh, that contests it. Okay, I stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some cards. Couple of them. Yeah, there's some cards. Okay. Um, that's fine, though, because you still have to deal with it before my next turn. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, let's just hit over what I presume to be your graph. It was. I'll use his effect. Yep. What do you want um, to I'll bring out a Skarm from the deck. Sure. And uh, I will just... Uh, I worried about... I'll just pass. Go ahead. Draw. All right, I will start my turn by special summoning Alec, Malin Branch, and the Burning Abyss. Sure. Okay, we'll take these two, and I'll throw them on top of each other. Bring him back. It's got to be Dante. Star yeah. of the show. Is he okay? Um, yeah. I mean, can't really do much about it. Yeah. Okay, I will use his effect, Detaching Skarm. And Mill three for, for cost, cost, please. Yep. Uh, See, I'm, you're I'm just the, so nice oh with my it. Lord, Look at you. the greatest, bro. Um, do you have a response to the activation of the effect? No, you're good. Okay, so we'll go Chain Link... One Seer, I'm going to target Graf, and then chain yep. link to Barbar. I'll banish, banish some dudes. I'll banish a couple dudes. We'll banish one, yep. the other Graf. I'll just do those two. Okay, so I'll take six? Yeah. All right, sure. And then you get your Graf. I do, yes. No, your special Graf from your grave. You're not in the deck. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. Yeah, I, yeah. you said You Seer effect. That's that. Yeah. You're right. I'm sorry. Uh, Yeah, well, special Graf then, okay? And Dante's 25. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll go to battle. Sure. And I'll get over with Dante. Uh, I'll chain him up. Sure, okay. Uh, so, that's fine. It, he's not zero. <laughs> he's, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm convinced he he's He has zero. some attack points. He's, he's an honorary attack points. zero attack point. Okay, I mean, yeah. I guess I'm just gonna go end phase and I'll get my Skarm search. That you will. Okay. I'll grab a bar bar. Another bar bar. Hand, I'm, I'm feeling that one. Yeah. I think that's a good choice. Go ahead, your turn. I've always loved that Barbar has like the chain mace thing that looks like a flail from RuneScape. Oh it's yeah, it's been like my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> the Varax flail, bro. Yeah, draining all. I'll the draw. Prayer. Stand by me. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna try for this king again. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Oh you shall Lord. not pass. <laughs> I shall not, indeed. That's frustrating. Okay. I mean, it got two Valors out of you, so I don't know how mad it did. I can it got really some pretty be. good value. It got some okay value. Yeah. It did. Okay. I'm gonna run out this mathematician. Do you have a third okay. Valor? I don't. That one's going to okay. resolve. All right, sure. Uh, don't know what I'm going to send with this one, to be honest. I'd really liked for this king to resolve one time. <laughs> That's what I was hoping. That's what I was It is what it is. Hoping. It is what it is. It's tough. I don't really just have a good send here. I think, I think I'm just going to dump Clown. Okay. And then use Clown just to bring itself back. Okay. Just get it in rotation. Uh, it will be a 0-0, zero, zero, notably. And... Uh, just gonna get like a bunch of random value off these dudes. Should probably still clean them up though. Uh, we'll go battle. Okay. I'm gonna go, I really don't think this matters too much. Uh, I'm gonna go math into graph. Okay, Um, I will take 500 and I'll use graph. Yep. I will pull a Skarm out with graph. I am gonna go king over Dante. I don't feel great about it, but. Okay, and then I'll use Dante, I'll pick back up. Yeah, and you'll take 13 from that. Yes. You took back Seer. I took back to see her, yep. Uh, okay, second main, I'll set one. Go ahead. Draw. Stand by main. My turn to do some thinking. Let's see what I got. Couple back row. Fiendish chain. I've seen time space trap a lot of all things from you. I see you have one as well. It's just sitting in your graveyard there. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's begin with like the obvious play. I'm gonna normal seer. Sure. What do I have a read on? Torrential wouldn't be good for you. No hand to discard with, not that you play anything. It's probably like another Fiendish Chain. I'm going to take these two, mm -hmm. and I'm going to overlay them. I'm going to make Zen Mains and attack. Sure. I'll go Battle Phase. I will attack into your Mathematician. Uh, okay, so I will lose my Mathematician. You detach, and I I'll will draw a card. Yeah, and then I'll use Seer. I'll bring back Dante. Sure. And I'll use Dante. I'll attack into the Trick Clown. Okay, I'll just pay a K and bring him back. Bring him back. Got it. Um, Simplified. Switches. Uh, main phase two. Mm -hmm. I'll go to the end phase and I'll pop the clown again. He's out of here. Okay. Permanently gone now. Go ahead. Your turn. I'll draw. Stand by main. Ugh. I'll set one. Go ahead. Cool. Uh, I'll draw. Stand by main. Yep. All right. I'm going to banish a light in the dark. Oh, fuck off. I, I Look, you have three back row. I'm like not feeling great that it's going to stay. I know these two are probably to the left of King of the Feral Month. They're probably not anything good. I don't know what the fresh one is, though. Is the summon okay? Unfortunately. <laughs> I'll just go battle phase. I mean, three. Uh, I'm going to think. What could you have? I, I don't... 
I don't even know if you have anything. Like, I, I really don't even think this is anything. On attack deck, I'll mirror force. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. That's and then I'm going to chain compulse to bounce send me. Oh, man, bro. What could I have? Oh, man. Okay, it's everything. All right. It's all not that great. You get the value, so. I get a Dante. That's all I get. I'll pick back up Seer again. Sure. That ruined my day. Um, that didn't feel good. Main two, I guess I'm setting a card, and um, have I? I have not normal summoned, right? No. No, you just smashed the BOS. Oh, you did compulse it back. Sure. I will summon Seer. Yep. Special Lydic. Yep. yep. That's why I didn't feel great about it. Yeah, and I feel a lot better looking at it now that it's on the field. Um, I'll set a card. Pass. All right, get it out of here. Tragic. All right. Karma cuts. Karma cuts. So you know what I'm going to do? What you got? Nothing. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Defensible. I like it. I don't think I know your last two cards. Uh, you know I searched a bar bar. The, you do know this is in here. Oh, yeah, I do know the bar bar. I do know the bar bar. Thank you. I forgot, like, you know, playing two bar bar isn't particularly conventional in EA. <laughs> so I, I saw this one over here. I'm like, okay, that's gone. Yeah, I had, I had to make it work. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. I appreciate it. I honestly think I'm just going to put the imps to defense. To defense. Path. Okay. All right. I'll draw. Well, this way you can't Zen main. Yeah, crash, no, I mean, no, so. I get it. I get it. I do get it. I'll give you one more turn. Soul charge. Oh, my God. I can't complain. I had it last time. I'm going to do 2,000, actually. Uh... Sure. BLS and the free Dante, because why not? Yep. And then just banish it. I banished. I did the work. Yep. Go ahead. All right. Special Thrasher. Yep. Normal Trick Clown. Yep. Overlay and Cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea. Oh, man. If only priority existed, I'd be a little bit more if jumpy. If only. Right? If, if only. I'll just, can I just save you the time? You're, you're going to guarantee put the cards on top of each other? Whatever you put on the board's not not staying on the board. It's going to be wing blasted, so. I mean, it matters because I was going to make Exiton, so. Well, I mean, <laughs> now that I, yeah, now that I have that information, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, look at you getting all cocky over there thinking you just was, have the I game on I, I was like, so. oh, what, what could he make? It doesn't matter. That's a good card, but. Okay, are you going to activate it? Uh, I am, actually. So this is where you're going to activate Wind Blast, Yes, I, I will Wing Blast. I'll pitch this Bar Bar. Sure. Okay. So this goes, you get nuked except for Zen mains. Um, got a couple triggers then. Yep. Uh, okay, so we'll go one Dante, target Seer. Two Seer, target Dante, three Bar Bar. Sure. Banish, banish, and banish. Okay, and then Seer, Special Dante, Dante, Add Seer. Okay. I take uh, nine. Yeah, I take yep. nine. Well, that really didn't do a whole hell of a lot. <laughs> yeah. So you have Seer in hand? Yeah. Okay. Now I have to think because I don't know if there's a world where I'm alive. Yeah. Keep in mind, I don't know if it's important, but Zen Mains is I do have to pop something on the field during the end phase. All the more reason why I don't think I'm alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Exiton was probably our best bet, but I don't think it was good enough. Now, buddy, you got it. Wow. Last card is uh, Assault Halberd, and I could have brought back Trick Clown, but I already normaled anyway, so... I couldn't have summoned one. I could always summon one of these two. And even if I did, uh, Zen Mains was going to pop whatever I summon. And you just have lethal. I think the alternative so is you I'm just dead. pass and I have to pop one of my own cards. I mean, I guess. Do you, I, I think you legitimately. I still think I'm dead. I, but I, yeah, you're not dead, but I don't, I don't think I win next turn. Did you want to go back? Do you not? Well, no, how would okay. I? I mean, we could. I already admitted defeat, though. I mean, it's up to you. If you still want to concede, like, I think I'm way, way far ahead. But I think, I think, yeah, because, like, like okay, so what happens, right? I, I let this go. Um, Zen Mains, you pop your own Dante. You just get a guy back. Yeah, I set Breakthrough right? Skill. And then you just, like, you can just, yeah, you're going to set Breakthrough Skill. So whatever I make anyway isn't going to matter. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So then you, like, normal your Seer. Seer blows up, you get Dante back, and then you have 2,500 damage, so I'm down to 1,000, so I can't even Trick Clown at that yeah, point. Yeah, and, and a Zen Mains um, is still live and then, with the trigger. Yeah. Right, exactly. Zen Mains is still live. Anything I attempt to make to try to stop your board, you have Breakthrough for anyway. So, like, and yeah, so even... 
I I can't even special this regardless. That's so right. I can always I can normal it and then I just make a guy and then use his breakthrough skill and I yep. lose. So I think the outcome is the same regardless. Man, the battle of oh, the rank threes shit. versus the rank fours. The lower number should have had a game three if I didn't make one tactical error in the first game. But here we are. I did not think BA was going to be remotely playable with tour guide being banned. So but, uh, clearly I underestimated how good this deck is. Yeah, I, I also thought the same thing. I'm really upset that I didn't get to play my two tour guide from the underworld in this deck would have been obviously a perfect inclusion. But uh, I ended up making it work without it. Just kind of like taking some notes from uh burning abyss like trap decks back in the day uh, sure yeah yeah cards in particular like fiend griefing are cool karma cut was played back in the day as well as wing blast yep good to see those cards all again um i saw you took some notes from me too and i will say like just having thousand blades reminded me how good that loop is right <laughs> like Yep. So, uh, it's insane. Yeah, I was it's really powerful. missing. I feel like time. my hand, I feel like my hand this second game was just so weak. I opened a Fariousness hat tricker and like three back row. Ugh. And then like when it mattered, I'm drawing into like Thrasher and like things that just like don't extend my plays. And it was great that I got two Veilers out of you with my King of the Fair limbs, but he was just sitting there. Like I needed to get something done. And I just had a guy that was just not doing much. And there's like 20 something monsters in my deck all of which can like turn one another on and just wasn't able to, to come together, unfortunately. But that's the game sometimes. I can't really be too upset. I mean, it was cool to see that your deck is in action uh, and it's like a viable option for you to play too. It seems like you have triplicates of like all the important BAs. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, the fact that you could just keep, especially with only, you didn't have Dante before, right? You nope, just pulled it today? I just pulled the one Dante today. Um, I remember yeah. I had really, really good pulls for the Burning Abysses. Like I ended up getting three Skarm and three Graph. Uh, only one Seer is super unfortunate. I've been rocking with one Seer since Duelist Alliance. Uh, but outside of that, like cards like Tor God obviously would have made the, the strategy playable still, I think. But I'm, I'm glad it was in a spot yeah. where I could still take it to battle today. Yeah, I definitely hurt seeing like that I only have one Castell as mm -hmm. well, just because Castell's so easy to deal with, like these cards in particular, right? And so the fact that I have to choose between like a Zen Mains or a Dante for spinning back, and then the rest of my extra deck just does nothing to the other card, right? Yeah, sure, I can Ragna your Dante, but that's just like not great. Mm -hmm. Right, because you're just getting so much value off of it. So it's, uh, and then it goes to defense. So I can't even like 101 it anyway. So there's just uh, a lot of things that your deck happens to just play against my deck really well, especially playing all these discard traps. Like I, since we don't have Pryo or anything like that, Karma Cut and Wing Blast just deal with anything that isn't Exiton before I'm even able to use the effect. And then you're getting value off of that as well. Yeah, it's uh, it was rough and we could have had that game three, but unfortunately I will be going to the banning as a result of my... Uh, misstep there, so I'm gonna have to maybe think about getting rid of some of these cards that you're uh, you're working with over here. We'll yeah, see. Back to the drawing board, buddy. We'll see what you come out with. Uh, how are your uh, Mega Pack 15 pulls aside from the Dante? I, I had to reroll to get the Dante. The first time around was like, I don't know what it is, but I always end up getting like duplicates of like the poopiest cards. I got no joke, bro. <laughs> three El Shadal Shekinaga in my first opening. Three secret rare ones. I was like, <laughs> I didn't even want one of this guy. Like, <laughs> think they gave me three of them. <laughs> Um, what about you? Did you get anything crazy? Nothing crazy. I mean, I got time space, which you saw I slotted in here, which was okay against you. I mean, it was fine, um, but just unfortunately, you know, didn't really go the distance. Got that. Similar to you, I got like four Herald of Ultimateness and like three A Wild Monster appears. Just yeah, a lot yeah. of the bad I, stuff I, I, that people remember good from, the, uh, from the There's Megapack. really good secret yeah. rares in like Mega Pack 15, but I also I think I also got like three as, uh, A Wild Monster appears. I'm like, I will never play this card. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. I think I got another Construct, but you have mm -hmm. banned Construct, so th that will never be seeing the light of day, unfortunately. Yeah, so like, it was okay. Um, Nothing like too crazy. I was considering a Redoer ticket, but at the end of the day, there wasn't anything I feel like Especially because since you've banned Construct, um, I think this is just the better rank four deck than Satellar Knight now. So there's not really a reason yeah. to spin for like Deneb or something. Um, and then like what? And then I don't have a good BA core in the slightest, so I wouldn't even try to make a deck like this. So like when those are the best three options on the table, I there's not really much that I was looking for out of here. There was like a couple things, but nothing like yeah. crazy. How was your wheel uh, though? Uh, you know, you're on a hot streak right yeah. now, so I'm worried Speaking about this Speaking of uh, redoer tickets, um, uh, I'm, I got another one. It's just as good in my hands as it is in yours, right? <laughs> like, I don't know. I got one and I, I really don't even feel like I really wanted it. I did use the redoer ticket today, so hey, I guess it, it wasn't all complete waste. You got a refund, yeah, so, right? Like, it's uh, fine. It is what it is. I think next episode might be actually a killer one because I think it's Dimension of Chaos, Ooh, if I remember the calendar. Banger. So, uh, 
there's a lot of good cards in that set if that is the case. If it's not in the next episode, it's the one following. So there's gonna be uh there's gonna be some good cards coming in our future very shortly here. And then Breakers of Shadow, not too far off either. That's a game. It's, gonna, it's getting fun, Gage. It's getting fun. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoy. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, the Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Little Fade Leaf, Draconic, Dylan Rare Hunter, JW. 11860, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Chrono the Branded Enjoyer, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Power Rave, but without a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio Players Soon, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Calvin Tempest, RIP Akira Toriyama, Daniel Howell, and Life Keeps Using Solemn Judgment on My Hopes and Dreams. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.